In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the mega menu. Now we've taken a look at the, yeah, the pages menu, which is similar to this, but this one has a little bit more going on. So let's click mega. And once again, as you can see, you have this uh, hashtag here, which doesn't link anywhere. Let's go to the mega menu options. So this is where you get to create whatever you want. You can add a new row. They've done the same thing. The way that page builder and Helix, the framework are laid out, this is the exact same thing that they've done here. It gives you a lot of um, flexibility. You can move things around. It's that simple and it's that easy. So if I don't want that there, I can move that, you know, to another position. You can click to add new row. It's going to ask you how you want this new row to be laid out. And you can choose however if you don't want something you just click to delete it so if you want this option you want that option you can do that and with the breadcrumb you can also move some of the items that are here this are all the this are all the modules that are connected to that make this you know give it this look so powerful feature is a customized layout builder that's what all these headings here are for and it's very simple and easy to maneuver them you can move one up, you can move one down, you can move it all over. So that's how this one here, this mega menu have, you know, all this stuff with it. And then you have the badge here where it says, you know, badge, you can put hot, you can put it to the left, you can choose the color, you can choose show menu title, you can have the full, what that menu is going to show the full length, or you can have a center, you can have it right, you can choose the width. You can make this a mega menu or you can disable it from being a mega menu. So this is the menu here and this shows you a lot that you can be able to do with it. Um, the icon here, you can choose an icon from the drop down list if you wanted to add one for any menu. And then once you put your mouse over it, then you see this, uh, the Joomla module. The Joomla module, this is what's on the, you know, the, the extensions, you go to extensions, you go to module. So this is the Joomla module. And that's where this all this stuff here is pulling from the module list. So if you wanted to edit any one of these here, you would go to extensions and you want to go to module. So when you put your mouse here, all this powerful feature layout, all that's connected to it. And all this stuff is right, you know, right over here. So you can definitely make whatever changes that's needed.